Hi guys, welcome back to the Funky Evolution Party. I'm Alice Green and um, so, you know, I've been watching what's been going on around the world and yeah, I find it really, really funny that, you know, political, I live in the UK, obviously, um, and in 2020 when the Prime Minister and the Conservatives, and I find it really, really like God's sick sense of humor, like they're supposed to be conservative, but they're the ones who are literally getting busted having illegal parties. Now, I've jumped fences and I've gone to some amazing, amazing illegal parties. So I can see how they got addicted to this like secret, you know, there's always been secret societies and secret this and secret that. And they really thought that they could lock us all down mask us up and then throw parties but what they're actually really doing is they're pushing laws through parliament and they talk about um what is a professional duty when they've shown no duty to us as the people that they're supposed to be serving now um today i went down brick lane because i love brick lane on a sunday you can find anything you want um from an amazing coffee to like literally um i got a jumper and i got my hands on the communist party of great britain 35th national congress um i got like all of this literally it's november 1971 um so you know 2020 when i decided that hey why don't we throw a party get an underground rave happening and political parties were raving and i think we should follow the leader on this one and, and like literally food fashion humor music all come together under the one umbrella funky evolution party love evolution and no one you don't have to be communist you don't have to be right wing all that's been proven is that we all want a party whether you're conservative or whether you're liberal or whether you're a communist or like anarchist or whatever you want to call yourself you're a person how you believe is up to you the end result is this you master you i master me together we form a society think globally act locally eventually when we're all flying over, rather than looking at rubbish, we're going to look at some, like, tomatoes growing or anything. Like, it's it's not rocket science. I literally throw my food waste away, spin it, and it comes back to haunt me. It's like, I don't like to use the word waking up. I don't like to use the word woke. It's like putting labels on everything. Like, label it, label it, label it, label it. We're not a fucking spice jar. Like, okay, variety is the spice of life and all of that. But, like, come on, guys. Get with the program. The only thing that is literally the common thing throughout history is the word party. Party. Right? And it's up to you guys what sort of party you want to have. I want food, fashion, humor, and music. Alpha blocks come together. And, like, looking at how we can really, at this pivotal point, like, shout out to the convoys and all those guys in Canada. And I really wish, like, I had more friends. Um, but literally, why aren't we out front of number 10 partying, following the leader until he quits? And globally, we can all do these small movements that come together into this massive picture of change. Because I'm so bored! So today, going down Brick Lane, I was like, I'm going to look like a gal, you know, like I'm going to just, I miss how we used to wear like just things and society is going into this sort of like closure and it's all of us and it's very hard to break free from. You have to like really push yourself and I've got to say, I've just been handed a treasure chest because like. This place is, again, 10 minutes walking from my house. It's like, okay, <laughs> let me do some research and go and follow up. And we, globally, the alien nation, how further do you want to go in this dive where literally they're clowning around on stage, clowning around 
and then passing laws like why are they increasing NHS when they're selling it off when are they paying them more money what, what is the purpose so you want to know where the next sort of like okay so we had a drug pandemic in the 80s and people were like snorting cocaine and like this idea you've got the government encouraging us to stick things up our noses and get needles it's another drug the next generation is going to want to stick things up its nose and stick things in its arms we're just getting out of this addiction curve of the 80s and what you're just going to bring kids back into it like let's start thinking a little bit more wisely like i'll tell you guys a funny story so i haven't been feeling very well um because i was placed under house bloody arrest um and i thought okay you know i'm gonna take some neem oil worst hangover of my life but i tell you what it's an antifungal it's an antibacterial it's gone through and it's done its job and at the end of the day, you can go and make your immune system weak and you can pump all this shit into it. But all you're doing, besides creating a lazy brain, is creating a lazy immune system. If you are not resilient to criticism, if you're not resilient to, like, dis-ease and dis-eases and how they manifest in the body, like this sore throat... Is for a variety of reasons I'm trying to pinpoint but every time I meditate it subsides now again going back this is really interesting stuff that I picked up today so I got three folders today for literally five pounds and like maps oops is that the right way up yes maps of Italy um, like really 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 interesting stuff some really cool old photographs like the regions and I'm gonna have fun um, flicking through this one is really 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 cool um, and understanding again the history of partying and how we the party people regardless of whether you're conservative or whether you're this or whether you're that or whether you're sorry <sighs> get a grip we are people it doesn't matter what gender you are. It doesn't matter what anything you are. You are a person who deserves to live in a healthy environment. Now, that healthy environment will determine your health and well-being. So get a grip on your psychology. Pull it together and understand that no one wants a miserable person coming to their party. So, again, you need two wings to fly. Right wing and left wing. Let's... Hmm. The only reason they're increasing national insurance was there was not enough booze supplement. Like, oh, we didn't put enough money into our party budget. Uh, let's increase national insurance. It's for our own mental health. We can all pass something off and we can all pass it on to the others. At the end of the day, we are responsible for creating the environment around us. So I've already started. I'm in schools. I'm looking at different community centers and I'm looking at how we can use food, fashion, humor, and music under the one umbrella, funky evolution party. It's not a communist party. It's none of that. It's not Tories. It's not liberals. We're funky. Fun key. It's the fun key. Evolution, love, revolution. The convoys in Canada, everyone globally needs to get their asses together, get in front of their parliaments and start partying. <laughs> food. Harry Krishnas are amazing, fashion, everyone's got their, you know, everyone has a way that they want to identify themselves with. Let's stop attacking each other for these minute differences when these clowns at the top are literally robbing us blind, throwing things in the media so we don't see what's actually happening under the scenes. Let's get a grip on things. Let's united we stand, divided we fall. Love is the frequency that we all, I don't know, that will unite us all. I don't know, that, that there's so many ways that we can twist and turn and break that spell and make it your own. And I don't know, come on guys, I need some help. I've got like all these folders to get through, but uh, stay tuned and uh, yeah, please like, like, subscribe, share and get the message out there.